guys, today let's keep learning how to make the part 2 of a picture-in-picture -picture video that with stunning filters and follows the beats. In our last video, we explained how to make the part 1 and how to add the video to the music beat. If you haven't learned it, simply click on the upper corner to watch the tutorial. Now, let's get this video started. Open Video Proc Flagger. Take a click to get into the project we saved for last time. Firstly, let's import the video. Like what we did before, we drag it onto the video track. Trim to keep only the needed parts and make it align with this marker. Next, let's make the effect that's different from what we see in the part 1. Go to the inspector panel on the upper right to find the transform section. Scale down the video. Then click on the plus icon on the left of the overlay track to add a new overlay track. Use the shortcuts Ctrl and C to copy this video. Paste the copied videos to three different overlay tracks. The logic of editing part 2 and part 1 is the same. Based on the markers, we adjust the start positions of these videos. After we match the videos to the beat, we click on the video on the video track. Hit the crop icon and crop the video to keep only the upper half. Hit apply to apply the adjustments. Next, click on the video on the overlay track. In the same way, let's click on the crop icon. Let's drag the selection box to keep only the down part. After that, Let's get back to the main interface. Use the show layout rectangle feature to adjust these two videos. As for the third video, we keep everything as the original. For the last video, let's go to the inspector panel and restore its size to make the changes of these pictures more abundant. Next, we are gonna add the same filter for these three videos. So firstly, let's select the video on the video track. Find the color icon on the toolbar. Go to the color in the filter editor panel and select the loved filter. Hit apply to get back to the main interface. Apply the same edits for the rest of two clips. After that, click on the video on the overlay track number 2. Click on the color icon. Select a filter that's different from what we added to the other three videos. This can improve the viewer interest of the picture-in-picture -picture effect. After applying the filter, we can use the mask effect which we added to the part 1. Copy and paste it onto the corresponding section of part 2. Adjust the duration and then tweak the radius volume. Now, these two parts have their features but still look related. If you want to take the picturing picture effect to a new level, you can go to the text icon on the toolbar and try putting extra elements. Go to the subtitle track and adjust the duration of the text clip. 
Then we go to the upper right of the inspector panel, enter the needed text content, select the loved font, adjust the size, then scroll down the mouse to get to the text shadow section. Decrease the offset volume to remove the shadow. Then let's come over to the preview window and reposition it. Surely, to improve the coherence, we can add a theme text clip for the part 1. Simply use the shortcut Ctrl and C to copy the text clip we just made and paste that onto the part 1. Adjust its position and duration. And change the content. Now let's preview part 1 and part 2. Alright, that's all for today's tutorial. In our next tutorial, we are gonna show you how to make the last part of the picture-in-picture -picture effect. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in our next tips. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!